What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FN23 series, even, where we look at young talent on Foot Manager and we see how they get on over the course of their careers, all set to maximum potential. If you've got a player you want me to look at, leave his name in the comment section. I say maximum two at a time so I can give people a chance to get their, their players in there. It's also, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. It really helps the channel out and subscribe for daily FM content. One day you get a video like this. The other day you get a Let's Play video. So at the moment it's Tottenham Hotspur. Go check that series out if you haven't checked, if you haven't seen so seen it already. Down below, same as down below for the uh, Let's Play channel, which has got Resident Evil 4 on the moment, and also my Let's Play my FIFA channel, which has got FIFA episodes, and also my um, Ultimate Team account as well. So today's player is Dominic Sabazal. I'm not sure it's pronounced it correctly, but I'm going with I'm going with that. Obviously, um, 21 years old, start of the game, so a bit older than we usually do in these reviews. But I think this guy's got a lot of potential in him. So you look at the uh, actual figure, which he's got 180 potential, which I think is locked to that range, if I'm if I remember correctly. I think it, it's that's my second to anyway. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's already set at that. If not, it's a it's if not it's 140, 180 range. Straight away, as you can see, corner kick 16, free kick 16, um, great penalty taking and technique. So clearly a set piece um, player as well. Kick clearly. Obviously got good long shots as well, 15. Can play in a variety of positions. Can play wide, can play um, central, attacking mid, and also central midfield. Now, obviously, the dribbling is not amazing, but he, I think it's, the pace is good enough to play there. But look at the, looking at looking at the, the player traits we've got here. Tries kill balls often, tries tricks, tries long-range passes, and hits figures with power. The top three lean... Well, the, the, the second and the third one lean towards me thinking he's more of a playmaker more, more of a central area but a wide player could be possible as well so as you can see uh, he's got a I've done a, I've done a scout report for you as well he's got uh, he's got two, one, two and a half star potential potentially four star maybe even five star potential strong penalty taker natural in couple positions great pace fair consistent performer all the rest of you know pretty much what we, what we saw on the um, stats there Needs to be better with his marking, but again, he's an attacking player. So I don't think it's much of an issue. So his contract was signed in 2021. So you can try and sign him in the first season. Now, of course, I'm Bayern Munich, so it could be very difficult to do. They want 69 to 83 million pounds. Again, every say it's We're going to give you a, a negotiation test here and see how we're, what we can do. So let's try 50 million pound with a bit. Obviously, Bayern Munich can't afford this, obviously, but we're just going to try with like. 20 million pound so they want 84 million pound that's a, a very quick negotiation obviously um it's bad minute bad minute so it's one zero club one zero club so that may increase the price obviously that's a quick negotiation 80 million pound ish you're gonna have to pay, spend on him if you can get him i'm surprised actually bad minute actually um were entertained for talks so obviously been a rival you you know you thought they would try and resist that Leipzig at least I would do anyway um but clearly they disagree with that so straight away as you can see um we go to his go to his development screen here he's very he's basically two footed essentially very strong on his left foot very strong on his right foot so it's pretty pretty good for me I'm not too concerned with that so let's go to the first jump and let's see how he develops early on I say early on in his career it's a high left alone in, in this review. All right, so he's still at Leipzig, um, which is not a big surprise because um, they are decent. They are a good European, good good, good, good team to be at. Uh, clearly, as you can see, um, it's corners, free kicks, passing, playing technique, all the highest ones. Still got good good long shots, a good first touch as well. Mental stats are basically stay the same. A few decreases there. They're obviously, the main three there decisions. Decisions, termination, and flair, and the pace of the 16, which is good to see as well. Same player traits. Looking at injury record here, and one serious injury for a hip injury um, from a fall. Well, in fact, from a player actually, uh, could be a fall, I suppose. Um, two months, apart from that, not too much of a concern there. Now, his contract is got an 82 million pound release clause, so the like the, the release clause in this scenario has landed quite well with his um, fee we negotiated earlier on. So, I don't, obviously, everything is different, of course. Obviously, you know, there's no guarantee this will be the same in your save. Could be less, could be more, but gives you an idea about £80 million seems to be the fee you got to pay for him, which gives us, which is good, because 
which is good for us to know because if he, if he doesn't move, at least we don't get some idea about the fee, don't we? Which is kind of the part of the review we want to look at. So, um, career stats. So, obviously, Leipzig, as you can see, he got the first season, he got five and two in the first season in this review, of course. Then he got five and two again. Then he got eight goals and 14 assists. And then he's got 16 goals and 10 assists. And where, where are they playing him? They're playing him as a taking me through the left. So, like I said, can be a winger. Can be a winger. Um, which is surprising that surprising that the the, the playing him there, but I guess the long shots, the position, the, the, the technique and composure mean that again he, he, he tries tricks. So definitely could be a winger. I don't think it's a problem. I think you might have better wingers in your team potentially, but you know, but you get that dribbling up higher and that pace keeps going up. He's not a bad. He's not a bad winger, is he? I think the good. He's eight million pound for a player who can play in. Basically, three positions. And if you really want to try and work at it, maybe even right wing. I don't think it's that going to be that as effective. But he's got, he's got, he's got two, he's two footed. You really work on that, you could do it. But I think three positions is surely enough to get him the, into a team. I imagine. But again, maybe as an emergency right winger, it won't be terrible. But at, at the moment, of course, unconvincing. unconvincing. So I think the key is to look at that when we go forward and see if that increases at any point. Obviously, the AI may not, may, may not do that on this save, but you guys may do it yourselves. So, interesting him now for Liverpool. Um, £8 million is the transfer fee. Obviously, that is the release clause there. Um, so, it's, it's a lot of money, but I think, he's, I think he's definitely worth a punt on it. Let's see if someone buys him. So folks, still at Leipzig, and I'm assuming the release clause has been upped again because his valuation has gone up again. So I'm assuming he said new contract. And again, the technicals are absolutely fantastic. Corners, dribbling, crossing, dribbling, uh, first touch, finish, free kick, passing, penalty taking, technique, all fantastic. Great metals, great metal stats as well. And physicals, physically say the same. Still got the same player traits on him as well, which is fine. Um, injuries, again, apart from that injury we had early in the, in, earlier on, for the uh, hip injury, it's been pretty much okay at the, since then. So, Leipzig, so 5 and 2, and then he got 8 and 14, then that, 50, that 16 and 10, then he got 16 and 3, 17 and 13, 13 and 9. Where are they playing him right now? They are still, they're now playing attacking midfield role, but also left wing. So, like I said, I think you can move this guy around in, definitely in your team. And honestly, I think he's a really, really good player. No of his closest contract now, so that's interesting. I think obviously now they've, I think they've worked out that he's such a good player. They don't want, they don't want to limit their transfer fee, which is, I, I, I get that. That's that's a, that's a good decision in my opinion. But this guy can play anywhere in central area and even left wing. So I think if you can get him for eight million pound early in the season, obviously we did a eight million pound transfer fee with instalments. You might have to pay the one-off payment if they put these, these clause in there. But I think again. I don't think it's a worse deal. If you can structure it, I say I did a very quick negotiation, of course. You do a better negotiation than me, or more take more time with it and work on it more. Maybe you can get a better deal. Uh, maybe not so much less fee, but maybe better instalments than I did. And again, we're not. I'm not trying to do a full negotiation there. I'm just trying to give you an idea about the transfer fee potentially before you go and sign this player. Um, so yeah, um, I for goal, good um, assist record as well. Can play two, three positions. Great technical stats, good mentals, physical stats are fine. Um, the, I, I, me personally, I like this to be 17, 18 for my wingers, but that's my personal preference. But clearly, he can score goals in that position because obviously he's, he's done it. So, you know, it's not a big issue, personally. So, one more jump. I don't think he's going to move club. I want to see if the goal and assist record kind of continues. Yeah, it's what I thought. He's not moved clubs. We've got a lot more player traits on him now, so let's go through them all right now. Tries killer balls, tries to play out of trouble, tries tricks, tries on his passes, hits with kicks with power, cuts down from left wing. They, the, te the, te the, the technical stats are insane. You look at them there, they're fantastic. The mental stats, again, at this point, you expect them to be quite good at this point, given he's 32 years old now. And then the physical stats look very, very good as well. So, injury record, one foul check on this. And again, um, not too bad. All right, a couple of major, major injuries there. But it's not, it's not, it's not inhibited his ability to develop. So look at his career stats here now. 
17 and 13, 13 and 9, 18 and 14, 23 and 16, 18 and 18, and 19 and 13. A fantastic goal-getting midfielder, can play wide as well, maybe even can play right wing if you, if you really want to try and work on that maybe. But plus side, this guy can play a few positions. Great record and goal record. It's, it's nice to see both dual figures consistently for goals and assists. The fee, not too bad. The downside is it looks like potentially if you don't sign him early on, he develops quite well and then he's going to cost a lot more money. So I'd say if you really want this guy, sign him early on. Uh, there's no real negatives other than, other than the fee. But for £8 million for this guy, I think he's a definitely a good fee. If you pay around that figure, I don't think you're overpaying for him, in my opinion. Obviously, if you wait too long, the transfer fee may be, may, may, may be even higher. But I think this guy is an absolute gem. I think if you sign a player who can play a few positions, and, you, you know, if you want to look at it this way, you sign a one player who can play for, for, who can cover for, for free. So you can play him attacking mid, you can play him central, central midfield, or you can play him wide left. I think you want to play him in one of these these two positions, second midfielder or wide left. Maybe Mazzala as well. Maybe Mazzala, maybe, or something like that. A box to box, something like that. Um, could be something you could do as well. But I think he's a really good player that you should really sign. But again, I think the advice would be sign him early before they take the release clause out of there or he develops too much and then the fee is going to be absolutely astronaut astronomical. But your thoughts down below in the comments. Is he, is he something you've signed on FM? Have you used him yourself in your Leipzig saves? Let me know what, what if you, has, he, has he moved clubs somewhere else? What's he moved for? I'd be interested to hear, hear that as well. As, if you, have you seen him move somewhere for a lesser fee than this? Because that'd be interesting to hear about as well. Obviously, it's one save, it's one scenario, one simulation of the player. So we can't always, you know, you know, it's not, a, it's not a, um, um, it's not a rule. Um, that that would be the fee for the player every single time. Down below, guys, if you have enjoyed the episode, hit that like button down below. Smash the like, the, the subscribe button as well to get up to date with all channel all content content on the channel down below like i said the let's play channel and the fifa channels are down below um this channel now has got a different schedule on it you have one day of one of these videos like a random video it starts tomorrow or some other video i do then you'll get a let's play video the day after that i'm also going to do shorts i'm going to do a few experiments on shorts to see just get you know basically plays i've already done um like the is the one i'm going to do in a minute where i'm going to just do a quick test on and doing a short and then get an idea how to do them and yeah um Thank you for watching, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.